evening everyone. Quite an exciting day because we received a parcel today from Z Packs. Sorry about the really rubbishy lighting, pure like Harvey Dent, you know, like Hoffa face. No, it's not Hoffa face, what's his name? Two Face Batman. Anyway, I picked this up at lunchtime, about just the back of 12, and I haven't opened it, I've been desperate to, like, want to get into it. But I've held off just to show you guys the unboxing of my Z Packs Art Zip and a couple other items. So I've got the Carbon Flex poles, the Flex poles for the duplex, I have a couple of dry bags. I've got the airplane um, carrier for the for the rucksack, and I've got um, what else do I have? Other stuff, and I've got the bear bag as well. Actually, not that there's any bears in Scotland, but you never know what we're going to be doing in the future. And the bags come in handy, and I, I just I just wanted to get it. So let's get to it. We'll open this guy up, and uh, I'll show you what it's like. Blade, box. Oh, hi Moss. Hiya. Yeah, wait a wee minute. Oh, that's some sort of wee bar, a wee treat. A meal. We'll check that out. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll I'll change camera view so, so we'll slide this out and uh, we'll have a look. Freestanding kit bear bag. This will be the rope for the bear bag. That's the flight case, and these will be my um, different stuff sacks and such that I ordered. And here is my arc zip. Oh wait a minute. Oh yeah, I got the the chest sort of pouch, or that you can put it on the top where you can carry it as a standalone bag, and more pouches, pouch daft. And that's it for the box. Moss is getting a wee stuff at it. What's that there? Is that good? Uh, th so this is the arc zip, yeah. So I'm going to take all these out, the uh, the bags, and I'll just lay them out, and I'll fill this out a wee bit, and we'll have a look at it then. What are you saying, Tim? What were my initial thoughts? The first thing I thought was, looks kind of small, as in like the actual pack size. Everything cinched down, like pulled in tight for packing, so when you uncinch them, the, the side straps and everything and open everything out, it obviously gets a lot bigger. And then when you like unroll the top, it's, it's massive, it's massive. And that's really where you want the weight to be. Like you want to be able to extend up rather than down or out. Really like the zip. I'm glad, I'm so glad I didn't get the arc blast. Because I live in Scotland, it rains here all the time, on and off, on and off. It's not just, do you know what, see if it was like raining all the time, fine, you can deal with that. But it's on and off, on and off, on and off, all the time. Or it downpours all the time. So I like the fact that it's uh, that this, this bag's waterproof. And I plan to keep my duplex in that front pocket. Because it's so light, it can stick out the back. Second thing I thought was, of course I then put it on, then I thought, oh man, I've got the wrong back size. I've got the small and I probably should have got the medium. So, put it on, on or two e. No, I adjusted the straps, I noodled about with it, and I actually shortened it a wee bit as well, so it's not even like I've had to wear it at the maximum size eh, for the shoulder straps going up and down. Um, then I thought about what I ha so I was pleased. I was then I was like actually I'm glad I got this size. If I'd got the medium, it would have probably been too big. Then I got to thinking about the extras I, I had added and what I might take off. I think I more or less put absolutely everything you could add on to this rucksack. Like literally everything. Let's see. Oh man, it's too, it's so customizable. it's hard to like remember everything I've actually added. Starting from the bottom, lumbar support, side pockets, and seeing some other rucksacks that I've had, you, you can't get to the side pockets, they're too far back. These I can actually get into, I, tr I tried that, so that's ideal. I got the shoulder pouches added on both sides. I added the shoulder strap padding on there as well. Added the V strap in the top and it also still comes with a single strap. 
So I've got the V-strap. I got the side, uh, so the roll top enclosure, you, you normally buckle it like this. I got the, the attachments where you can strap it down the sides. Which, which these, I also got these upper mesh side pockets. So they, they kind of foul that a little bit, you have to tuck your hand down. But it, it gives me the, big. everything's removable, you can take all this stuff off. If you don't want it, just take it off. Nothing's permanent. But I like that, I like having that. I'm so glad I got these upper mesh pouches, they're massive. They're massive and it's a really nice big open mesh. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be like for my, wet, like my wetter stuff. The water bottles go down there. And then the filter goes up there, so if it's all wet and damp, it can breathe. And maybe the other side, I don't know what to put in, maybe my dirty knickers or something, or something that needs aired out, or my wet socks. On a side note, I thought, I did wonder, because I've got an Osprey Exos, like, what is it, 58? And the, to get the, 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 the holes for the water bottles are here, so you can reach back. Whereas on the Z-Packs, it's like top down. And I did wonder, because... I've got a short back, will I actually be able to get my hand up and around? And I can, no problem. No worries there at all. So I'm really pleased about that. I'm sure it comes with like the bottom strap, a standard, I can't remember, to attach a roll mat. I'll, I'll keep my butt pad in there. I got the ice axe attachments. Like I said, live in Scotland, so uh, you need stuff like that sometimes. Oh, and the shoulder pouches, two shoulder pouches. I thought I would have to move the shoulder pouches further down when I first put it on. I felt as if they were like high, but on like adjusting everything and getting it right, where they're positioned when they come, they, if you were to put a water bottle in, it would sit vertically, perfectly vertically. I mean, Z packs clearly know what they're doing, you know what I mean? Like, this is proper style, proper style stuff, this. Like, I love it, basically. I love things, I've got a bit of a fetish for things that are fit for purpose. Not even fit for purpose, perfect for purpose. And this is clearly like, this is specialist equipment, basically. And you know, even though I've got all the bells and whistles and all the add-ons, see when I pulled it out, compared to my exhaust, my Osprey exhaust, this felt like nothing. Even with everything on it, it still felt like nothing. Putting it on, uh, first of all, the back, uh, the back mesh. I could feel it. It didn't feel as comfortable as the all-over mesh in the Osprey, and I guess it works. It's a different setup. I mean, at the end of the day, this is lighter, so you're you're gonna have to compromise somewhere. But on adjusting everything up, it 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 it, it just everything settled in nicely. And bear in mind, I've just stuffed like some clothes I'd line about in there just to fill it out a wee bit and get on. Once I fill it up properly, of course, the, the load will be distributed differently, so I'll have to adjust it then, but I'm, I'm confident that it'll, it'll be all good. The load lifters, it's really quite adjustable. One thing I did notice as well was the shoulder straps are actually better uh, shaped. They're shaped better than the Osprey. The Osprey Exos ones are quite, they're like foamy and big, but they're quite narrow. Not that they're uncomfortable, but th this, I would say it's cut better, so it, it fits your body more. So, uh, yeah. And I like the green. A lot of people go for the arc hall, don't they? Because they're worried about the durability of this, this stuff. Now, I've had one of these from Z-Packs, and this was, I think I got this as part of my first ever order. Six months I've had this. First of all, I got it for my phone because when I kept it in my chest pocket, it was kind of getting condensation on it. So because it's waterproof and such, put it in there, you can flap about easy access because I was using my phone for filming at the time. But yeah, so I got this and this gets more wear than probably the rucksack. I'm constantly touching it, it's up and down, I'm putting it on tables, it's tucked into my top. And of course it's the same as the rucksack. Oh, hi there. What are you saying to it? You come for a cuddle? So yeah, really pleased. Mosprey, I ended up getting really into those like mesh, that mesh back panel and the mesh side pouches. Got right into that. But still, because of where I, I thought this, 
a full back part would be better for my needs but yeah i've still got the side pouches and this mesh for what i'd normally put in the osprey back panel um because normally i just stuff my butt pad in there i'll put that in this bottom strap um i would have my ground sheet my duplex ground sheet i use it as a ground sheet the least I, i'll put it over me i'll use it as a rain skirt i'll put it over my shoulders i'll cover the dog if it's pouring down rain when i'm setting up the tent i'll just deploy it to like sit on if the grass is wet and put my butt pad on top of it it's just get that's another thing if you're going to get a duplex get the ground sheet because you'll you fight like the butt but you'll think why do i need a butt pad see when you've got one you're like why i should have got this right at the start you love it i i found that with the ground sheet i use that for everything you know if you're going to be cowboy camping or something as well so yeah, oh, I'm I'm delighted, delighted with us. I'm going on about it. I've I've been having a few Guinness. Um, it's Friday night. I'm just so pleased, and the fact it's waterproof. I did also get, which I'll show you. I did also get a rain cover though. Sometimes I'm pushing through, scrubbing bushes and all this sort of cack, and because it is the art, uh, because it is the art zip. You know the zip, the zips will be like um, if there was to, water to get in, it would be at that point. So just throw the the rucksack cover on it. You know it's no big deal. So delighted, delighted. Oh, so good. And I, I'm I'm messing about with the arc and all that and like adjusting things. It's so high quality as well. This is the this is the thing as well. Like you can tell that not only is it high quality. But you can tell that there's experience, trial and error, that's, it shows in here. They know what they're doing. And, 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 and I don't know, it just looks like something that's been refined and refined over time. To the point where it's super lightweight, but super functional as well. It's like perfect to meet your needs. I love that. I love it. Anyone who knows me will know what I'm like when it comes to out like. I've got so many rucksacks, it's like my parents used to rip me about it. And I would say this is like for, of course, in different situations, you know, if you're going high altitude, I'm rambling. Let's open the other stuff. Right, I've been totally distracted. Um, I, it's Friday night, finished work, on the drink, drinking some Guinness. Uh, I'm a wee bit inebriated now. Super excited. Delighted about my this is awesome. This is totally awesome Well good then I was on Instagram and you're watching this on YouTube. I've got an Instagram Facebook Website blah blah blah. You can go on there check it out if you like Z packs American good American company and randomly today when I was in the supermarket they've, they have like an American section now there, uh, World Foods and all that, and uh, I was pretty excited because I got a baby roof bar. Any of you guys seen the Goonies? The Goonies sloth and chunk, and sloth is chained up and chunk's chained up, and sl sloth's hungry. Chunk get gets a bar out and f a baby roof bar and flings it to him, but he falls short and he's like. Ugh, uh, <laughs> baby <laughs> oh, oh I'm so sorry do you want some of this <laughs> baby <laughs> baby Ruth but I've never had one I've never had one I'm going to eat that stuff and I'm also going to eat me some lucky charms just for good measure Af not, not the now anyway let's all put up some more Z-Pack stuff I'm delighted with it look I'm going to be I've got my Z-Pack where is that I've got this guy, and I'm going to have this guy, and I'm going to be cutting about full on Z Packs guy. Because, do you know what? If if I like something that works and it's actually good and functional, support it, love it. Like I said, I've been drinking. Sorry. Get that on there. Get this on my head. Let's open up some more Z Pack stuff. Okay. The freestanding kit for the duplex. I was listening to all sorts of 80s hits music there. No shame. That's the 
freestanding pole kit for the duplex, the one I got, it, it wasn't so long ago, so it's got all the attachments actually on the tent. Go on to my channel, subscribe, I'll, I'm going to be doing a video with the freestanding kit. In fact, one of the primary reasons for getting the freestanding kit is not only for convenience, but also for wind, rain, snow loading, resilience. I'm going to be doing winter hiking, so let's 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 get this stuff on the go and see how see how this stuff handles. Let's open up some more stuff. I need to get into this pack here. Wait a minute. What's this? This is the rain cover, I'm sure. Large, yeah, one-handed. Let's go. Teeth used and everything. Because do you know this material is tough. There, see? Lightweight rain. There you go. That's gonna work. Weighs nothing. Next. What's in here? Get all that out. I think this is three like medium dry sacks. Because it's the arc zip that I have, you know, I can like flap it open, lay it flat and pack these in all nice, which will do my OCD a lot of good. Because what, do you know, I had done the Cape Wrath Trail there, it was 240 miles. It was like 14 and a half days of wild camping. Every day with the Osprey top loading, it was just, I carried too much stuff. And you have to, to be honest with you, you have to with that sort of trail, because it's in really remote parts of Scotland. You, you can't get away, there, you're, there's one point where you're like 20 miles away, there's no road, there's nothing, there's no phone reception. I had to carry a spot device in case I got into trouble because there's no phone reception, you can't call for help. There's no road, 20 miles to the next road. You have to carry more gear. Like every night when I was camping, I would have to, I would get into the tent, I'd have to take stuff out of the rucksack, then pull my dry bag out, then unload everything. Then what I'd do is I'd put the rucksack to the side, I'd then repack the stuff I didn't need right there and then into the dry bag and sort of tuck it to the side and that was like a nightly and morning ritual of like footering about kind of like got a bit of a pain in the butt after a while so the arc zip will allow me I don't even need to take it out if it's not something I'm going to use there and then zip it open I don't need it there and then have it in a different dry bag and easy easy right this pouch thing. So this is the pouch, like the chest pouch, but it's also got all these straps to to cut about and have it as like a day sack. You can attach it here to like, the uh, so it hangs off your chest, or you can attach it to the top, so it hangs, so it's like a, it's like a traditional like lid. Or it's got the straps to like have it as a sort of day pack thing. I'm 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 going to rig that guy up right now. So you clip them together. Over there you go. And then once that's like that, you can put this guy on. What? And you can be like this, walking about and all that. I'm 39. I'm all about, I'm all about practicality. I love it. I'm telling you, see this weekend, probably won't upload it because it's not walking related or hiking or backpacking, but I'm going to Stirling Castle. I'll definitely be wearing this. That's well used. I, I, I wear, I, that comes with me everywhere. This is going to be my new thing. I'm going to, I'm going to be having that when I'm going around. And it's waterproof as well. Plus, multifunctional, lightweight, practical and multifunctional. Cannot argue with that. Let's open this up. Bear bag, I don't know. That's the airplane cover, that's the bear bag. I can't remember, I just went mental and ordered hundreds of stuff. I had confidence in Z packs. Oh, the food bag, right. It's big, plenty big for all my stuff. I just had a Tesco bag, in fact, there you go. There's a bag like that, I put it in. And one of the nights, I, I'd got holes in it, it wore down. And what uh, I kept outside the tent. One of the nights I woke up, slug infestation, and the outside of the tent. Cause this was outside, I had a few holes, three slugs inside, smelled up all my food, bealing. Right, so that's that. Look, so that's well big enough. Next. Oh, aye. oh man, that's massive. I can't even mind the stuff I've ordered. 
a wallet. Is that a wallet? Do you know, see before I made this video, I really should have checked out what I'd actually bought. As you can see, I've clearly just went berserk when I've been placing my order. It was just before my birthday. I've just went mad. Is he, is he, is he packs mad? I've went. But it's all good stuff. Delighted. What's next? And these bags are good, by the way. I keep these and use them. They're actually really good bags. Uh, yeah, this is the flight bag. Oh, damn. So I've got the line for the bear bag, and this is the flight bag. I got the blue because if you're traveling, you don't want your stuff to get lost. Blue stands out nice. It's, it's thick, it's tough. Teeth opener. Do you know what? I should, maybe I, maybe I should just like lie down and go under all this Cuban fiber or whatever they call it now, summon composite guy Z pack stuff and just be immersed in it because it's proper ultra lightweight, high quality goodness right here. This is like, this is a belly full, I'm telling you. Super pleased with all this. I, I, cause I know I've got, you know, I've got the stuff sacks. I've, I've ordered from Z, Z packs before. First of all, the duplex, which I ordered, which was a big drop of money, especially when you're importing it into the UK with the VAT. But it was so good. It was so good. It was just, you can't buy anything like that here. You cannot buy anything like that in the UK. I'm not joking. And it was just so fit for purpose. I couldn't resist. That was me. That's it. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all Z-Packs dude now. It's so well made. It's so practical. It's so lightweight. It's like elite. Z-Packs are like top of their class. I'm not just saying that as some sort of Z-Packs fanboy. Like that duplex. Scotland's a rough country, you know. There's, it, it, it's changeable. It's rough. All manner of weather. And for a, a tent that's like under 600 grams to have to have weathered that, you know, it, there's just nothing else like that. I'm a gear guy. I don't like. I don't buy stuff lightly. I do a lot of research. Um, and I, I know what works. I know. I know what's gimmicky. Z Pack stand by their products as well. You're not going to go wrong with this stuff. And it's not like lightweight just for the sake of it. Z Packs. I found I've struck the perfect balance between lightweight ultra lightweight and durable but practical and well but most almost most importantly well designed it's this is like proper like this is for long distance hiking that's what that, that that's what this is and it's designed perfectly with that in mind you you can't argue with that guys you cannot argue with that Honestly, I, I I I dropped a lot of money on this, but I'm delighted. This is a this is a good day. See when I see when I bought it. If you buy Z Pack stuff, when you hit that button for the order, you'll feel freaked out a wee bit. I guess it's a lot of money, but like with my, I, that's what I felt like when I had my duplex. Because when you first do it, it's a bit of a gamble. You're like, it's a lot of money, and is it going to be any good? When I done that with the duplex, I was like. Oh man, then it turned up, then I had to pay VAT and shipping costs into the UK, got it here, and you're like, alright, th this is it, you know. I was so impressed, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm buying Hunter's Z Pack stuff, and that's what I've done, because it's just so good. And I'll pay, I'll pay that VAT, and I'll pay, I'll pay that, I'll pay that extra for proper stuff. If it's good, I'll, I'll pay the money for it, you know what I mean? Good stuff doesn't come cheap, and that's what this stuff is. So, either if you're in the US, Europe, the UK, it's worth it. I'm loving it. Today's a good day. Today's been a good day. So, thank you, Z-Pax. I hope to see you on the when you come to Scotland on the uh, Great Outdoors Challenge. I don't know if I'll be able to go. I've emailed them asking them uh, because you can't take you can't take dogs and Moss is my hiking partner I ain't doing it if you can't take a dog hopefully I can get a get a pint with you guys but anyway that's us we're away to listen to the Goonies soundtrack the Lost Boys soundtrack Tim Capello to the max shout out to Tim Capello 